Hey, good day, traders. Sam here from Trade to Prosper to give you another update. Optimism is one of those coins that I routinely comment on and I routinely trade. And uh, I'm looking for the bottom for long term hodl. I did a post on TradingView yesterday, and uh, today is the video to explain it all. Okay, so what we have from a cycle perspective is returning back to this base accumulation so we had a nice wick off structure here actually give us a sec this was the bottom and uh, we lined it very well and we traded and to our surprise it went really fast and really quick in line with ethereum uh, merge all the peripherals like optimism and so on and matic they all went high as well. So that was a good opportunity, a lesson to be learned. Nevertheless, we also did a top in formation based on the previous high. Actually, this is higher, but anyway, that was the case. So what we can do long-term wise, we'll, we'll just create this trend line to see where that takes us in the future. So we're not going to use it, but we're going to place it there. What I do suspect from so from a cycle perspective, in many, in many cases, um, price usually comes back down to the base. Usually sometimes, and in many cases I observe, is on top of the base. So if this is our base accumulation, and it is, that is our base accumulation. What crypto tends to do, or in, and what I've observed is there's another base that starts around here. So I think this, this could be a legitimate way of looking at this. Now, here's the reasons. You can see uh, in the short time, we had this five-wave move. We had this bearish structure, a continuation, the Wyckoff structure. And you can look at it in many ways, but I just simplified it with this parallel channel. And now we've got this trend line. Now this trend line, and this is a this is a lesson for you guys. This trend line is not absolute. It could be the middle of a channel. So, in many cases, when you look at when you see people forecast, they think that line is absolute, and they do that and so on. Well, that could be the middle as well. Yeah. So, it, the formation trading is very risky, as, as you know, it's subjective. And there's a few methods of um, for uh, was confirming that it is the case, and one is the touches. Now these touches at the top are separate from the touches at the bottom, although sometimes they could be combined. Now what we have here right now is um, we look at it from confluence perspective, but what we have is pretty much from a, a macro perspective. We had the five wave move we had our what we're doing now is an abc correction or we had that in that in that bucket right here so i can't can't recall seeing it but anyway that's a b c and now we're doing a five way count again so we have our potential one two this long stride is definitely a two to three and this could, you know, by all intents and purposes, this could be three and four and a five, and then a little bit, bit of an ABC as well. So um, let's imagine that scenario. Uh, where are we? Yep, there, A, B, C. And then we could come back down again. Yeah, so that's the bullish perspective. And we could probably use that level as resistance but that's the best it can do and then what we do is as you as i said that could be the middle of the channel and perfect yeah so you need to be flexible in your thinking and uh that, that could be a abc correction and then we come down so is it worth taking that trade it's very difficult you got to time it well so let's have a look closer it's not the best, is it? <laughs> but like I said, let's just let's just get rid of this for a sec. 
this ABC move is not coming all the way down, but that could be the case. And it could be just very, very similar to this and then down. So, and that's our major fib, fib area. And if we look at it from a big perspective, let's see what fib that is from top to bottom. Okay, it's our 0.5 fib level. Uh, and that's interesting enough. I'm not sure how I got that. Hold on, just a sec. I'm not sure where that is. Okay, that's a swing. All right, no log. So let's get rid of the log and look at the no log perspective. Okay, this probably makes it a bit easier. And the trend lines. So that, sh that should be my standards. I, I'm deriving a standard where there's log and no log uh, trend lines. So no log means dotted. I'm going to keep that there. Um, that's for my own use, guys. Don't worry about explaining it. But here's a trend line. Now let's have a look at this in a closer way. See if there's any confluence. No. So from a log perspective, not yeah. So no log perspective. There is no trend line there. It was actually. There we go. A lot of touches. Actually, it did play out, didn't it? So it's it found that as support. And again, I'm going to use this channel. It looks bearish. So this, this channel, is it worth trading? Probably not. I'll be looking for, if it breaks this, this Fib level of one, I don't know where I got that from. Actually, now I do. Because that from the top to, to that level, I'll make it as a one. And then I can work out the targets below. So that's why I had that there. So let's just hide that for a sec. Take it to the top and put on the log back in. What do we have here from a big picture perspective all the way down? Okay, so 0 0.68, it's my, yeah, so there, that is going to be a strong resistance as you can see all the way across here and we below it. If we break above it, then I'll, I'll look at it coming back up to this level and I'll trade it. So if it breaks, if this goes bullish, um, then I, I could see this going up to there, probably hitting that trend line and then coming back down again. But I don't see that happening anytime soon, but it's possible and we have that <clears throat> probably an ascending wedge, a bullish formation, but that's very, <clears throat> that's being very bullish. Um, I can't see that anytime soon. However, when you look at the, the stock market and the Dixie, it is at a support level and, and it could do one of these things here. So it, it could, so we've got something early here and you can see what took place. It kept going and then came back down. So that trend line, there could be that possibility of a, I move to the upside and if we just look at that from another perspective. I don't know where I got that from. Okay, that's right. I had it from a non log situation. And so that could be a, a <coughs> one major resistance from that perspective. So, oh, and you can see the difficulty we're using log and non log. All right. However, having said that, if this is why three and four, why five is here, based on my experience, this is a good accumulation area. And uh, I'll definitely start to add more to it. And uh, but with conditions, looking at Bitcoin, it's probably, um, let's see what that drop is. It drops there to there. Another 20% drop. Fits in with the 14, 15K, 16K Bitcoin scenario, I suppose. Um, so, yep, makes sense that this could be accumulation before we go up. It's going to be hard to, hard to trade these things, but um, 
you're not going to find the bottom with uh, definite uh, perspectives. You just got to take your chances and average in. So the lower it is, the better you have chances of uh, gains. So anyway, this is what I expect. I expect this formation to take place for the next leg down. This leg is in, uh, makes sense to me. Really depends on how we do here. So if if this, which I doubt it, but if wave four was up to there, then that will give me the target for further down. So because of the Fibonacci. So for the time being, the Fibonacci I have is that wick and that bottom. And we got the one at the bottom. So that's one way of doing it. And you can see the one 1.618. Now, if the if this comes up to this level, then you can see my target is further down. Yep. So these things matter where that top is. If this was to go to the next to that fib, that line, then we have them deeper, and and we we'll use the one point four one four to the one point six one eight. Are the two things that I'll be looking for for the bottom. Usually the one point two seven two doesn't play much of a role, just a bounce of some sort. But that's what I'm looking at from a log perspective. Now, if you look at this. We have our one wave, so or in um, formation, so that's one. Potentially two, actually. And if we get a lower high, then we we can look, start looking at it at a bullish perspective. But if it keeps coming down, so that will be a tra breakout trade if it comes there, because that fulfills certain touches. Um, but that's the bullish perspective. But it's one thing that we need to factor in. Um, otherwise, it's just going to be another breakdown. And then we can continue. This could be some sort of formation like that. And the bottom massive scenario. So I'm going to be looking at this. Um, there's a lot of scenarios that can take place. For the time being, I would not trade this. Um, just it just looks like a bearish formation. I do believe it's a way three or four. If I was to trade it, I would look for a breakout from that perspective, I suppose. I think this might come back down. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's coming back down. But that it, it does seem that that line, so what we do, that line seems to be relevant so uh, there's a bit of a gap there but that could be explained let's just clean this up a bit you can see my Fibonacci the 618s there now I'll just want I want to see if I can trade this mm. That is a strong move. Free. Yeah. That, so the thing is that wick that wick really made a nasty move. And very you can see that there's liquid, um, a lot of bearish stuff there. 618. I'm not sure why I got that there, but this is the, the resistance band I, I'm looking at. Just from a Fibonacci perspective. The 0.5 is a resistance, and we're getting lower highs. And uh, here we go. Let's see what happens in that quadrant. So there might be a little formation one. Maybe come back down again, and then break out. So, or just break out from here. But that's a small trade. And I will just take my profit there. If it breaks from there. Um, but this is looking to retrace. Maybe that, that will be confluent. Yeah, that's a good spot. One of these two. To bottom of the channel. Risky move. Um, oh. 
that's all I've got to say. You consider what, what those opportunities are in the small time frame. I'm looking from a big perspective. I'm looking to put my funds in at this level. I'll leave it at that, guys. Um, hopefully it's not too confusing. Hopefully it makes some sense. And I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.